Hey everyone, I'm Akira and in this video I'll be going over some of the easier to get mounts that becomes available in patch 10.1 Embers of Neltharion. The first mount we're going to take a look at is Big Slick in the City. This racing snail mount comes from a secret reputation called the Glimmerog Racer. It starts from Briggle in the southern part of Saralek Caverns in the small town Glimmerog located right here. The only prerequisite to the reputation is completing two short intro quests to Glimmerog from Brock the Beast at this location. First you'll get a quest that requires you to get introduced to Slick and from there your training of your diamond snail begins. After this you'll get one quest a day from Briggle, all with one purpose in mind, to train Big Slick in the city. You'll get a Kong Whistle so you can summon him as a non-permanent mount because you will need this for some of the daily quests. And sometimes you need to kill Jaredin to get snail supplies, sometimes you'll have to race train your big slick in the city around the track nearby, and sometimes you ride on slick in the other Dragon Isle zones to get him accustomed to being your mount. And there's also a ton of other activities. The quests give you 100 reputation each and they do benefit from reputation increase buffs like the Dark Moon Fair buff and the Human Racial Ability Diplomacy. But there is also another way to gain reputation and that is by showing Briggle different battle pet snails from outside Saralek Caverns. Once you summon a max level snail battle pet near Briggle, you will be offered a one-time quest called Snail Spiration and then the snail's name. Completing these will give you 100 reputation each and keep in mind the pets need to be level 25 or you will not be offered the quest. Here is a list of all 15 battle pets that can help you gain reputation. I'll also have a link to a wowhead comment in the description where you can easily find information on all of them and how to obtain them. Anyway, to get Slick as a mount you need to max out this reputation and you start at rank 1 and need to reach rank 5. Every rank needs 700 reputation so it'll take you around 4 weeks without reputation buffs and battle pets to reach the max rank. And the fastest you can reach max rank is 1 week and 2 days with all reputation buffs and all battle pets. And once you become a professional snail racer, Briggle will simply hand over Big Slick in the city to you as a reward. Next up we have the Boulder Hauler and this version of the Shale Wing Mount comes from a vendor called Panso located here in the city loam. To purchase it you'll need 84 Barter Boulders and 99 Barter Pebble. The Barter Boulders have a couple of different sources. First, you'll need Renown 12 with the different reputation to be able to obtain boulders from any source. But before you reach Renown 12, you will receive Barter Bricks instead of boulders from all the sources that I'll mention now, which can be traded for boulders at Ponso at Renown 12. So, once you reach Renown 3 with Niffin, you can get bartering quests in Valdraken from Kayan right here. Two of these reward you with five boulders and can be obtained weekly. What you need to do is bring proficient materials and items and trade them with the different proficient people in Loam for barter boulders. You can also get some from bonus quests that you receive while Sniffin Seeking, which is a treasure room hunt you can start here in Loam. Furthermore, you can get some from treasures around Saralek Caverns, and you can also purchase barter boulders for Dragon Isle supplies from the Niffin Quartermaster right here. You will also receive some Butter Boulders as rewards for progressing the Niffin Renown. To get the 99 Pebble, you just need to trade one boulder to 100 Pebble at Ponzo. The third mount on the list is the Seething Slug. This mount is a reward from a hidden treasure in the Saralek Caverns. First thing you want to do is head to the Saralek Caverns and to this area right here, the Sakali Caldera. The treasure is located in this area. To find it, you'll have to gather three Seething Orbs. Whenever you click one of these orbs, you'll gain one stack of Insidious Insight. Upon reaching three stacks, you'll see a system message across your screen saying you hear a dark hiss from the Northern Shrine and the treasure will be visible to you. But first you have to find the orbs. They are quite small and they don't shine at all, unlike most interactable objects. Also, they have several different spawn points. So far, seven different spawn spots have been reported, including the spots that I found, and there's probably even more. I'll have coordinates for all the spots listed in the description, and I will update whenever a new spot is found. Anyway, these are the seven known locations so far. If you're having trouble locating the orbs, I can recommend dying and flying around as a spirit as the Sakali Caldera is an area that is filled with elite mobs and has a semi-flight restriction in form of a stacking debuff that will demount you when it reaches 10 stacks. 
Also, all mobs disappear in the zone when you are dead and far away from your corpse, so your vision will not be blocked by mobs. On top of being hard to find, they are sometimes not up at all, but if you find one orb, there will guaranteed be three orbs up. So when you found three orbs and gained the three stacks of insidious insight, head to this location and you'll see a bigger orb inside this shrine. Click it and you'll get the seething slug mount straight into your bags. Next up we have a bundle of two mounts, the Igneous Shadowing, which is a fiery version of the new Sporbats, and the Subterranean Magmammoth, which is a blue version of the Magmamoths. These mounts are sold by a vendor called Sacratos in Loam, the Niffin city at this location. The Shale Wing is sold for 400 coveted baubles and the Magmammoth is sold for 100 coveted baubles. The coveted baubles are bought from a vendor right next to Sacratos called Spensoa. He sells them for unearthed fragrant coins and the unearthed fragrant coins are primarily earned through rare public events in the Serelic Caverns. These events range from a ton of different stuff but primarily feel like funny world quests. They reward you with dirt covered pouches, some of which are rare quality and some of which are epic quality. The rare pouches contains 2 to 3 unearthed coins each and the epic contains 5 to 6 each, so you'll have to complete quite a few of these. You can find the rare events pretty much all over the Serelec Caverns, you'll have some in Glimmerock, some in Loam, some at the Sakali Caldera and some around Aberus. They can be completed daily and will be marked on your map with a little horn when you're close to an ongoing event. Another way to get some frequent unearthed coins is the public event Researchers Under Fire. This event happens once every hour in the middle of the Saralek Caverns right here. For completing this event the first time every week you'll get a bag called Researchers Gift and in this bag you'll find about 15 unearthed fragrant coins. And while we are at the Researchers Under Fire event, I might as well mention the last mount of this video, the catalogued Shale Wing. This mount has a chance to be contained in the Researchers Gift, which was the first treasure you get weekly from the Researchers Under Fire event. Which means you can only get one Researchers Gift every week on each character, much like the Grand Hunts. You'll get a worse treasure for repeat completions, where there is not a chance to receive the mount. That was the 6 mounts that I could show you today, which one are you looking most forward to getting, let me know in the comments, also leave it a like if the video helped you out, that way you can help me out as well. Thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing for more mount content if you want, and as always, have a wonderful day, bye!